this is Sunwind. I'm Michael. I'd like to show you a bit more about the Solar Drive 2, which is our full meal deal inventor kit. The kit as you buy it would appear like this in a single package. Otherwise, we do have it in a classroom package, and that's the Soul Run Solar Inventions Kit. The Solar Drive 2 is 15 of the Solar Drive 2s plus extra tools and materials make up the classroom kit. Let's open it up and see what we got. So the first thing we have, pretty much the first thing your hands will reach, is a full set of instructions with a materials list. So that'll show you how to build the solar car. It'll show you some of the solar drives that are possible with it. To start off, let's have a look and see what we do have. The only tools we should require for this kit is a pair of scissors. So to do a full car instruction, I would suggest that you wanted to build a solar car, you might look at the solar drive instructions. The Solar Drive 2, just showing it to you here, is just simply has many more parts and so it gives more room for invention. Whereas before there are just two small blocks we're working into, now we have larger blocks of wood. We have the same size dolls you'd had earlier with the 10 centimeter dolls, but also some 15 centimeter dolls. Uh, a propeller, gears as well, which is something we didn't have in the Solar Drive. So, this little yellow piece, relatively new, this is a CD hub. So CDs can be mounted onto the hub and that allows us to use CDs as wheels on models. Bushings will go into the interior of any one of the pulleys or gears that we have here. So we've got a full set of linear gears, 50, 40, 30, 20, and a 10 tooth gear. To run those gears directly from the motor, you put the motor bushing into the center of the gear and then press down the motor onto that. A worm gear, and the worm gear also fits on the end of the motor shaft. Lots of screw eyes for axle holders, and as we've shown before, you can mount a shaft onto almost anything using the screw eyes, dowel, and inline shaft retainer. If you have all the tires you'd want to do different sizes of tires on your cars or vehicles. You've got different uh, size elastic bands because sometimes your motor is a long distance away from your driven pulley. We supplied you with a AA battery holder with a two volt solar panel, which this one is one watt, 500 milliamps, two volts. So two volts times a half an amp is one watt. We can certainly charge a battery. What you want to do is not leave it out in the sun forever or you will overcharge the battery. These are the solar drives that are possible. Because that bushing allows you to put any one of the pulleys or gears onto the motor shaft, you can directly drive any size of these so that you can make direct wheel drives to either drive a car, use that as a drive wheel, or to drive something else, rotating something else that's on an axle. Here we have the motor pulley, one inch, one and a half inch, two inch pulleys, O-ring tires on either of those if you like. Here we've shown how to build a shaft drive, and here it's a direct drive using just the motor bushing and a piece of tubing and a dowel inserted. Here, of course, a propeller, you can make fan cars, fan boats. Here we have the CD hub I've shown earlier, a worm gear. Now the worm gear, sort of a power gear in the sense that one revolution of that motor will turn one of these teeth once, once it's engaged with a uh, worm gear. So you're able to make various, uh, various different uh, speeds with the worm gear against any of the linear gears. The tools you require for a kit like this, really just the scissors. It's sometimes handy if you're taking things apart to have a pair of pliers just to hold the axle as you're disassembling things. This is a crane model using the worm gear. Here's a motorcycle using a driven 10 tooth to a 50 tooth gear. Here's a fan car. It rolls along rather slowly, but it does work. And you can also build fans and fan boats with the propeller or just model airplanes or model helicopters. CD wheels would be here with the solar dragster. And that's one of the things about all of these kits is that they they come apart and they put together, they can be put together again either in the same way or assembled in different ways. So those are various options, various possibilities within the kit. There's much more that children can do with this because they have a full range of uh, working mechanics in a sense. This will allow them to make inventions with pulleys, gears, wheels, axles to make uh, the machine they might imagine and then we power those machines, the solar panel, powering the electric motor, and having the drive takeoffs. All the solar drives that we can possibly make are shown here again. 
So these are different ways that children can solar drive their kits with the Solar Drive 2 Inventor's Kit.